guys so i really enjoyed filming that like day in a life with me little vloggy video so i thought let's do one over the weekend so if you want to see what i'm up to stay tuned Hey guys, it's Becky and welcome to my channel. I do loads of plus size fashion content, beauty and lifestyle videos. Um, so if that floats your boat, if that's your cup of tea every Tuesday and Thursday, then don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button down below. Uh, and of course, give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, so I really, really enjoyed filming that day in a life video. I am loving having my own space and just being able to film literally whenever I want. <laughs> it's really nice. Um, so I just thought, you know what, let's do it again. Um, so I'm thinking we're going to be doing, um, I'm going to show you my bathroom and what I've been doing in there. Um, and also a fan favourite, Daddy Bill is coming over. Um, so I know all you guys are really going to love saying hi to him. So yeah, I hope you're looking forward to today's video. So guys, had a little bit of an outfit change because I'm about to do a little bit of cooking. Um, and this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Can't quite believe that. Um, so big, big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I have ordered HelloFresh for the longest time, uh, even when I used to live in London. Um, so if you don't know what they are, they are a meal kit delivery service. Um, so you can order them uh, weekly, bi-weekly, even monthly. And they've got absolutely loads of really interesting and delicious meals to, to try out. Um, the thing that I love is that it really takes um, the stress of choosing what to eat. Um, every week you just go on there and they've just got the most glorious meal options to try. Um, I have found some really incredible, oh, ice cream van. <laughs> I found some really incredible ingredients and recipes I never even knew existed. Um, so it's a great way to um, explore some different foods, different cooking methods, but everything's super, super easy to follow along. They've got um, pictures and um, yeah, literally tell you everything you need to know. So even if you're not the world's strongest cooker, uh, or chef even, um, then you're going to easily be able to create these really, really nice meals. So dad has arrived for his lunch. Now we've got these options here. What, so what's this for? This is for HelloFresh. You oh. and mum have had it before. It's a meal kit delivery service. And I've got to choose one. You've got to choose the one I'm going to cook you for lunch. Okay, ultimate chicken tikka and cumin rice. That's nice. Buttery uh, honey cinnamon. This is one of their brunch options. Oh, it's like a brunch oh. brunchy breakfast. <laughs> I tell you what, they look lovely, don't they? They do look lovely. Sirloin steak and peppercorns. Ooh. <laughs> 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 oh. Chicken and plum stir fry. Doesn't that, that sounds sound nice good. with plums? Oh, I've never oh, had. Oh, but but <laughs> you, you knew I, was I knew it. Plum. I knew what one you wanted. Uh, sirloin steak with peppercorn sauce. You know that that's my favourite meal. That is Dad's favourite meal. This uh, is one of their premium options. So it's for uh, uh, your Friday night. It's for a special meal. Um, so are we going for that one? Yeah, well, that's the one I have. That's the one I have. That's when I'm having a special meal at home. That sometimes. is Dad's special meal. So I, mean, I absolutely adore um, pepper sauce. I've never made it before. I'm excited to make it f from scratch. Sort of sauté potatoes, all all chips. But I mean, I love sauté potatoes. I think they're uh, they're mini roast potatoes. Oh wow! Well, yes. So that's, that's the one. Sort of that's thing, the one we're it? going for. Absolutely. I'll get on well, with it I, then. Okay. How would you like your steak cooking, sir? Um, <laughs> medium to rare. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. If you would like to try HelloFresh for the first time, they have given me this incredible offer where you get 50% off your first box 
plus 35% off your next three boxes with the code on the screen now. And it will also be uh, in the description box down below. They've got loads of super tasty recipes that get delivered fresh to your door every week. There is something for everyone um, and you'll discover so many new flavors and recipes. I highly recommend it. So, Dad, what do you think? Pardon? What do you think? Well, I think that looks good. That looks exactly... In fact, it looks better than it does on the picture, they say. <laughs> right, Ooh, taste test. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Well, I can't. I can't count those either. Now he's looking green beans. <laughs> yeah, everything's Ooh, you know, super fresh. I think I did a really good job. You did? Here. You did? What do you think of the sauce? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it's lovely. Everything comes no. fresh. Oh, we see. Yeah. Nothing, nothing comes frozen at all. And the pepper sauce is good. It's a nice creamy sauce, that, and it complements the steak beautifully. I like it. <coughs> I like the whole thing. So the chef is here, and I've got myself a bite with all three. It's going to be a big bite. <laughs> mm. I've got it on the front camera, so don't okay. worry. Dad was trying to take the camera. That steak is so tender. Mm. Oh, no. The potatoes are fab. Oh, no. mm. If you've ever been scared to try cook a steak yourself, give this a go because it does step by step instructions. You've got the best quality ingredients. But it was so easy to cook. It took about half an hour um but honestly guys i've used HelloFresh before they ever reached out to me in my own life mum has bought it before dad i don't think realize but <laughs> um but they're absolutely fab and if you've not given them a go here's my discount code again um honestly so many amazing choices um you know you don't have to go to the supermarket everything's there fresh and ready for you to make some delicious meals and it just makes life a little bit easier well, you, they're not skimmed they're, they're not they're good portions as well oh, they certainly are so big thank you to hello fresh for uh sponsoring this portion of the video <sighs> so guys it's the next day and i've had my brows and lashes done if you can hear tweeting it is the birdies outside i've got a black baby blackbird nest in one of my little um tree shrubs so that's really nice uh, but there's so many birds in my area i find it quite unbelievable actually um so if you can hear them it's quite nice <laughs> lucky you <laughs> um so yeah yesterday i went after dad came round. i went and got my brows done um big shout out to my brow gals i know she watches my videos occasionally um but yeah she stayed half an hour late because i hadn't booked an appointment um obviously right now is a really busy time of year for all beauty salons with waxes and spray tans and nails so i was a bit silly <laughs> not very booking that far in advance but big thank you for staying late i thought i was going to get an appointment in a couple of days and she was like can you come this evening and i was like yes <laughs> um so if you've got so i have naturally platinum blonde lashes and brows um and you don't realize how much brows and lashes like frame your face until you get them tinted um so if you have got really fair um eyebrow hair or even kind of light brown um i'd recommend giving it a go it's one of the more affordable treatments you can get um it ranges anywhere between like 14 and 20 pounds um on me it lasts about a month um and say if you have to you know uh wake up and go to work quite early in the morning don't have time to put loads of makeup on it really solves doing your brows in the morning so i just put a bit of clear brow gel on I'm done but i also love getting my lashes done for holiday because you don't have mascara <laughs> like you can wear very light makeup and still look relatively like put together so 
here I am. Um, and then today I've got myself a little Starbies. It is two o'clock and I really wanted a pink coconut. Is that what they call it? But they'd sold out and I'm like... So I ended up getting the ice brown sugar shaken espresso oat milk situation. Um, I do really like it, but it's normally my morning drink. Um, but whatever, I could do with a little bit of energy this afternoon. Um, so I also went to TK Maxx and HomeSense. Um, the, the one that I go to is in Hedge End because it's like a big, it's a little bit of a drive for me, but I see it as kind of like a day out. <laughs> um it's a really really big store it's not the best for bargains because a lot of people go there um but it's i just look up and down every single aisle i spend hours maybe hours there i think i did spend at least an hour and a half and i looked both sides because i had nothing to do today so let me show you what i got of course there's a haul of course there's a haul um so first up <laughs> um i don't have a little blanky basket and my living room living room tour is imminent um it will be this month that it's coming um my living room is in the shade for most of the day i don't get a much direct sunlight which i don't mind to be honest because you know my front bedroom is boiling so it's really nice to have a room that is kind of cool all year round but the only thing that is is it does get a bit chilly in the evenings um so i did get myself a blankie basket and blankies so i got this really like chunky rattan basket um i didn't want something that was too too big because it does need to go between um under a coffee table like it's not the biggest space um but i loved how like chunky this is um and also this one doesn't like uh, they have the bamboo ones and the bamboo ones have a smell like i've got a bamboo um laundry basket upstairs and it does smell and you can't get rid of the smell um so this doesn't smell because i think it's raffia and this is uh the handmade in vietnam range oh guys have you seen um there's there was this tk max program on channel five and then the tip went viral on tiktok it's to do with whether you're getting something that's made for tk max or an actual brand um so it was really interesting this is the first time i've gone into the store since um that program so this if it's got a number one up here that means it's made for tk maxx um which to me, i don't mind because this was a really great price this was 16.99 um which i think is really really reasonable but if you want a sticker with either the two or the seven so i'll show you the two sevens but if if you're going to tk maxx to look for like actual bargains um, and if you are in the UK, go watch that Channel 5 um, documentary because it's so interesting, especially if you love TK Maxx, because um, it will tell you like what to look for and kind of like uh, they talk about licensing products and um, how they buy a license and produce cheaper, more affordable quality items um yeah it's really really interesting um so i loved i loved this for the chunky vibe was really cute then um this was this is a two can you see the little two um so that means that this is a genuine brand called Fu fusion never ever heard of this brand in my life i will give it a google after uh but basically i just really love the color because it kind of kind of goes with my living room a nice blush pink uh this was originally uh 12.99 it was only down to 10 so i saved myself three pounds but it was the only kind of pinky colored um blanket there was anyway and then um i just got this for foresteria ridge I think this is a yeah this this has got a one and that means it's made for tk maxx i just think as long as you're just happy with the item and you're not buying it for the name doesn't bother me <laughs> so this is just a really nice cream 
soft super soft blanket um these um oh it's got a little mark at the top so i'll just i'll just run it through the wash um but these blankets always remind me of my nan because she <laughs> used to say that it felt pussy um these blankets that was her word for soft like she had dementia so <laughs> So she was like, oh, I remember we were in M&S and she was rubbing this blanket and she was like, oh, this feels so pussy. <laughs> so these blankets always, always remind me of my nan. Oh, that's come out. It was just, I think it might have been um, from the bank, the basket. So then I also have a huge bag of goodies here. I remembered my own bag as well. Good, good for me. Uh, so next up, I got this really nice dustpan and brush because... Guess who doesn't have a dustpan and brush yet? Uh, this is by Ad Addis. I've heard of this brand. Um, and this, apparently, RRP was £10. And I got it for £5.99. Um, I just really liked the vibe. I've been needing a dustpan and brush. But every single time I've gone into, like, a shop, they've been really, like, ugly. <laughs> I just wanted, like, a plain and simple dust. I don't want, like, a funny pattern or ugly colors or anything so uh yeah this is the first the first one i've seen that's just normal um and it's antibacterial plant source so it's made with natural bamboo this bit but this bit is plastic <laughs> it does make you wonder sometimes doesn't it oh so i went a bit well not absolutely crazy but i did go a little crazy in the food section uh, because i just have loads of reduced pasta um and it's all like super super in date until like 2024 uh, so maybe they just had like a run of of pasta and they didn't know what to do with it um so this is by casa rinaldi um i just love the shapes really chunky tubes um this was one pound 30 for 500 grams i thought that was pretty good um especially for like italian like the slightly better quality italian pasta um i do i do love i do love fancy pastas speaking of more fancy pastas i also got this penne with truffle uh, now i don't know this is by raffaelli i just love like i feel like one of the nicest things you could do as a gift for someone is to like get one of these like nice basket hamper type things like go to the food section of tk max and just get loads of like interesting foodie bits um so yeah these were one pound ten uh, <laughs> i have no idea if they're gonna taste like truffle um and then the last the last foodie bit um, I got was this uh, truffle pesto, which I thought would be perfect with my truffle pasta. Uh, this was two pounds from four pounds. It didn't have a date on it, but I can't imagine. Like, I think it's, oh, there, there, there's the date. Got until uh, Feb, no, August 2023. Got ages of time to eat that. So, that's just going to be a really nice treat. I might even add like a little bit of cream to the pest, like truffle pesto to make like a creamy truffle sauce. Chef's kiss. Um, then, oh, I got, of course, there's a fly. I've got the door open and now flies come in. Perfect. Um, I got a couple of candles. Now, these aren't my favourite DW candles. I do love a DW candle, but I have a little tray. Oh, my God. Oh, God, this bloody fly. Um, I have a little tray on my coffee table. I can't show you because you're on the tripod. Uh, but I have a White Company Seychelles candle. And I like just a simple glass candle with a white wax in it. Um, and I like it to be kind of like around this size. Um, and like all the DW candles, they're really fun. But they're all like crazy colours. And they've got some sort of glitter thing going on. <laughs> So, um, I saw these, and these are a two. I've never heard of this brand, though, but they are made in the UK. Um, it's by Thomas Street, Urban, Urban Candle Company. I've never heard of them before. But this is eight raspberry, apricot, and rose. Pink raspberry and rose, cool apricot, warm vanilla, and musk. This smells really, really good. 
Oh, it's so pretty as well. Mm. That smells just really like summery and fresh and warm. It, I would love a perfume in this because it just is, it actually reminds me a little bit of one of my faves, um, the Angel Nova um, Muggler perfume. I've, I've just filled the, the, the bird bath up with water and the birds are all going a little bit crazy. Um, they love it. They love the bird. I love watching them. It's, anyway, um, if I can capture some footage of the, all the little birdies of the verve, I'll pop it in. Uh, but this smells really, really nice. I will not lie. I did unstick the, the label so I could smell them. Um, but that will just look really, really nice where I want it. Um, and then I also got the apple scent again. Um, I've got an awful, awful lot of Christmas candles um i did i did buy a lot during the sales in december um i do feel like summer candles are quite like you, know, you don't get as many of them um so it's really nice when you find like um summer candles oh this has got a different this one has a different jar um this one has less oh i kind of prefer this one this one's really cute so double check the box if you want the cute little town scene um but this one's just got a little sticker <laughs> but it's still really really cute and totally the vibe i want these are actually a bit bigger that's okay these are 140 and these are 190 so you're getting a little bit more bang for your buck um but this is really fresh really sweet again so this is a uh, sweet fresh fruity apple with a hint of cucumber really really nice i've never heard of this brand before um but i think i'm going to give them a little google afterwards because um they're they're saying that they are rrp 20 pounds 99 which is the same price as a white company candle um so if i like them and they burn nicely i'd be in, i'd buy pay for them full price don't tell them that but <laughs> but if you see them in um in in a tk max home sense yeah, they're really they had another one called i think it was called like fairy lights or something that was nice i nearly bought it but then i saw they had the other scents um that was a bit more floral but if you love a floral like a fresh bright floral that was really nice they had an oud one i don't really like oud um but if you like oud they also did an oud one um then another really exciting purchase I got a step. Um, I have a step, but it's very thin for the like, where you put your foot. Like in total, it's about that size, and I just don't feel very safe on it. Uh, this is for uh, in the kitchen for my top shelves of the cupboards, especially like my kind of like pantry food cupboards. Um, it's just really hard to like put anything up the top or further at the back on the middle shelf, just because they are quite high up, and I'm I'm not short but i'm not tall either <laughs> so i just got this um and also it's just a bit more like sturdy as well um that was only eight pounds and that's a two that's a two uh originally 16 so half price i have i did look these up actually on amazon and they're about 10 12 pound so i saved myself a little bit of money then we have a clothing item. Um, I have noticed over the past year or so, they're really starting to get an awful lot of plus size. Well, I say an awful lot. It's way less than everything else. But they are getting a lot more than in the past plus size clothing. Um, so I did have a little flip through. You can get, you can expect to find uh, Simply B and yours clothing a lot of simply being yours and i've seen them repetitively they do also have some like i think own brand type stuff um but it's now nice to know that you can go and potentially find some clothes so this is something i am really really excited about uh this is by uh nobody's child which i believe is on asos and i believe is really expensive I feel, unless I've got the brand wrong, but I feel like nobody's child, I feel like their dresses run for like, I've seen some of them, I swear, for like 70, 80 pounds. 
I feel like they're expensive. Um, so when I saw this dress, one, the pattern is absolutely gorgeous and it's so me. Like I'm quite a full colour person just because my hair's a bit orangey, a bit reddish. So um, the colours were beautiful. Um, and they had this in um, an, a 20 a 22 and then I found it in a 24 and I was like, yay. Um, so they're saying originally that it was £45 um, and then it was our price £14.99 and it's yeah, red stickered guys got this beautiful dress for £12 um, I did actually try it on just because I think although you can return it's a hassle to go all the way there um, but it's beautiful quality 100% um, cotton I think I'm going to take this with me to Monaco um, I just love the colour. I feel like um, I can wear this in the summer, um, but I could also wear this in the winter with some tights and boots and a little chunky cardigan over the top. I was really, really pleased to find that. So that's exciting that we can now start finding some clothes too. And then the final thing, I've not, I've not left an exciting thing till the end. I should have left the dress. Um, but I've been loving, I don't know if you can tell, I've, oh, you can't see it. Can you see it? I don't know. <laughs> but I've been loving those, like, hair clips rather than hair bands because I feel like when I tie a hair band around four times, it's way too tight and it hurts. But when I tie it around three times, it's not enough and it's loose and it kind of falls. And um, so I've been loving these big, chunky um, hair, hair grips. Um, I've just kind of been collecting them and, like, matching them to my outfits. Um, and I just thought these were really cute. I love this kind of bronzy one. This one's like a nice, like, shell one. And then they've got this nice pinky one as well. Uh, these are like a little bit more than I kind of wanted to pay. They were six pounds. It's not too bad. I think Can bought one in um, Asda the other day for five. <laughs> she regretted the decision when she got home and was like, what have I done? Um, but yeah, all of that came to 83 pounds. And I was really surprised. I was like, oh, Oh, under a hundred. <laughs> you have to go to Home Sense, like knowing that minimum a hundred pound is going to go from your bank account. <laughs> um, so, like when she was said like eighty three pounds, I was like, it was still a lot of money, still a lot of money. Um, but I'm really, really like I've got like a lot of stuff here, um, and really lovely stuff. So, um, oh god, I've been talking for way too long. Um, <laughs> Um, I'm gonna uh, put all this away and then I'm gonna paint my nails. So guys, here is my <laughs> gel nail situation. Um, I did go for a moment where I just got absolutely loads of gel polishes. Um, that's my nude ring with all my nudes. I do, to be fair, like, um, whenever like Han comes down, I always do her nails. Um, I've got, you know, I do all my friends' nails and stuff. So it isn't just me using it, but I will be honest, I haven't used this in a, in a real long time. So there's a video I literally saw after I just filmed the last bit of this like thing of dots. So I, I'll put it on the screen now. I'll do like a screen recording or something. Um, so I want to do that, but with like blues. And I think I'm also going to do a um accent nail with this blue glitter as well um yeah if you watch my clothing haul videos you know i'm going to be going for like a greek Miami, mamma mia um vibe <laughs> uh, so i'm really excited and i'm gonna probably pop a film on um i use the miley pro lamp um but i have a mixture of like uh, candy coat premier gel um beetles they're the main ones I think that I've got, so I'll let you know what I've used at the end. So guys, here, here's my attempt. And I'm actually pretty pleased. What do you guys think? Um, I'm definitely better at painting than I am shaping. I will not lie, but I feel like, look how good that was with my other hand. Slightly wibbly wobbly, but like pretty good, pretty good. Um, so, if you wanted to know the exact colours, um, I used the, the My Gel in um, Break the Ice. Um, I will say Premier Gel are probably my favourite brand. Um, that's Marine. 
then um this is santorini rooftops just love that name and it's a beautiful blue uh then i got uh, ocean spray as a little glitter accent and the one color i might have changed might have changed if I did this again. This one's so light, it almost looks like the white. Um, and that's in, it's a boy, but then I don't know what color I'd change it to. Let me know what you think. And then if you do um, do gel nails on your natural nail or not on acrylics, uh, use a rubber base, it's a bit more flexible. It makes your nails less brittle. Uh, highly recommend again, Premier Gel. Um, rubber top and bottom love these um i just used these little <laughs> tools i got from shein they were super super cheap i'm sure you could get something off um amazon or whatever really cheap anyway i'm just watching four in a bed i haven't taken the stickers off my tv yet <laughs> so i'm just gonna pop everything away and i'm really hungry so but yeah that's the uh that's my nails look how cute i absolutely love it so guys here is an update on the bathroom uh, <laughs> so it's very much um the same as previous i've just found it difficult to kind of spend any money on it when i know i'm gonna rip it out so this light is stuck um we tried to take the glass bit off, completely stuck. <laughs> this, this extractor fan doesn't work, um, so I have to keep the door open when I have a shower. Uh, this curtain rail um, was given to me by one of my mum's friends who was getting rid of it. <laughs> then I just got this, um, it's quite nice actually, it's like koi carp watercolours and like nice blue colours. I thought it would kind of match the bathroom. <laughs> it's a very hard bathroom to match. Um, and then I've just got this little like loo roll basket holder, just a little caddy down there and, you know, all the necessities. And then I've just got this in here for now. This will probably stay um, even when I get my new bathroom because it's just so useful and convenient. I've got all my tampons and um, this. So my sister-in-law bought me this one originally for loo rolls because they were completely sold out of these in my B&M. Um, so I had loo rolls in here for a while, um, but then they came back in stock. Uh, so I bought one of them, but obviously I didn't want to not use this basket anymore. So I kind of just use it from all my clean spare towels um so i think that's actually quite nice and then this is the seasons um i guess like limited edition flavor it's like a cherry blossom scent and it smells so so good if you see that in b&m or wherever pick it up it's it's very very sweet and fruity and floral um and it lasts ages and then finally um <laughs> this is a command strip hook so i don't know what i want to do here i think eventually i want to get a towel warmer radiator here instead um i think my i really guys i really just don't want a bath um oh that's another thing the water pressure is shockingly bad i have to actually wash my hair at my parents i can have like a body wash in the shower um but hair wash has to be at my parents because the water is just absolutely like no pressure so plan is for the future i want a glass panel here and i want it to be like a walk-in walk-in shower with like a rainfall shower with a separate do they call it like a hose shower um and then i want this to all be like cabinet and you know where you have like the toilet attached to the cabinet and then i want a mirror and then an extra cabinet here um and then yeah that kind of um towel ready i'm showing you a bit a blank wall um but yeah this is this is where the bathroom's at and where it's going to stay for a while it is apart from the windows the next and final big project so 
Um, this is what I'm going to be saving for uh, for the rest of the year. I need to get a couple of quotes as well on um, on my vision. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the bathroom. Woo! So nice. So guys, um, I forgot to film um, an ending to the vlog. Uh, Fingers got away with me, um, so I'm filming this from uh, Monaco. I'm having a fab time. Um, but yeah that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it and um, big thanks to hellofresh everything will be linked down below including that um discount code um if you haven't yet of course don't forget to subscribe like and just you know, leave me a little comment i do read them all and i will see you in the next one guys bye